guys, welcome back to Vince Bell Customs. So today I'm sharing with you this uh, Phoenix uh, headstand bust base that I made for somebody. Now this is a one of a kind. I would love to be able to be, you know, keep making all these headstand busts for all these premium format statues that have two heads. But the problem is, it's very hard to get your my hands on an extra head where somebody is willing to let me make it messy because, you know, you got to kind of use it to push into like clays and A's and stuff and it gets dirty because you got to make the keys. And the other problem is to... Uh, Sculpting, molding, casting, prepping, priming, painting, and it's just a lot of work for one person. So I enjoyed doing them while I could. It was a good learning experience, but I just don't have the equipment because I always borrow my friend's equipment. I can only do it in the summertime, but in the summertime I can only do large projects that need outside work, and it's just way too much for one person. So as much as I would enjoy keep doing them, I pretty much stop making them. But every once in a while I could do something like this for somebody with just like a one of a kind. This has kind of worked out pretty good because I was working on a couple projects this uh, you know fall and winter and I was able to take the Catwoman premium format head uh, base that I made a while back and I told them I said what we could do is I can make a crappy mold copy out of it because all my molds are really destroyed that's why I can't really make the Catwoman bases anymore unless I make a whole new mold uh, so what I did is I poured in, I made a mold, I pretty much chopped it all up and then uh, from there, I started re-sculpting it to fit the Phoenix head. Now, the other issue we ran into is he is all the way across the pond. I'm in the U.S. I think he's in Australia. So it's kind of very hard to, you know, I wouldn't want him to send one, both of his heads all the way from Australia just so I can actually use them to make a head base and then risk them getting damaged. Then I get them dirty because I have to use them for, you know, all the clay, uh, aves and stuff. And then if I ship it back, it's going to cost money, it's going to, maybe they get ruined, it's just crazy. So, the good thing about the project was I told them I had damaged Phoenix uh, head in my uh, box of parts that somebody gave me a while back. And I said, what I could do is, I can use this as a base. So, the way it worked out pretty good is I had this head, so I got this a lot of dirty and stuff. So, I kind of made the, basically the whole, uh, you know, keying system and stuff. Now, the only problem was, is I didn't have the regular head, this is the exclusive head. Uh, I did have a regular head, but the problem was the hair was so broken it, I couldn't even use it because I wouldn't know where the head where the hair would actually hit. So I said, you know, I got a friend who actually has the statue, and I said, next time he comes down, when I'm getting ready to finish up this head base, I'll ask him to bring his regular head, which he did, and I tested it just to make sure the regular head fits on it, and we tested it, and it works out good because the guy says he's going to probably be using the regular head for this base anyway. So that's kind of what we came up with. So it was a little bit tricky to get in there, uh, you know, doing this stuff. You really want perfectly good heads with all the hair so you can really line everything up. But, you know, all the stuff that's broken off, it's kind of tricky. So I don't know if he puts the EX head on here if it's going to work because I'm not really sure where some of these extra strands would hit. But I tried to give a lot of, like, room just in case because it's just one of those things. But other than that, it was uh, fun to do. It was a good side project, you know, this past uh, couple months where... When I was ever in the garage, I could chop up that resin base. I could use extra aves. I can sand when I'm ever dirty. So it's kind of good to have some side projects like this once in a while. It's kind of fun to do these too, just like a one of a kind for somebody. Uh, but it worked out pretty cool. So uh, other than that, it's pretty much ready to go. Uh, all he has to do is glue in the magnet on his hand if he wants to. Uh, I don't like to glue in the magnets unless I have a head that's going to go in there, just to make sure. Because I know the. Chinese factories, it seems like they always have the correct polarization on every single head base and the statue that they work on. But sometimes you never know, no my luck, I'll glue it in and when he puts the head in it's popping out. But other than that, uh, I put a little bit of a, a rubber pad around here in the circle with the sticker and signed it. And that's pretty much it, it's ready to go. So uh, if you guys ever have like extra heads, don't be afraid to sit there and try to make up your own little head base. You know, get some clays, some uh, A's, some other work. If you if you got a broken head or if you want to wrap the head in like some saran wrap and start making a key, you could kind of make up your own little head base and have some fun. You know, it's a, it's a good little fun project you could do. So there you go. That is the Phoenix uh, head base for the Sideshow Collectibles Premium Format. Let me know what you guys think. I had a lot of fun. Like I said, I wish I could make more for people, but just not in the card. So uh, thanks for watching, and we'll be back with some more videos.